Hello folks and welcome to our screencast and in this video today I'm just going to show you how to change your icons for your applications that being in your, either in your dock or in your application folder etc. A lot of people for example will have an application in the dock and it might it might stand out a bit, it might not be quite as nice as the other applications, icons, it might look a bit old fashioned or it, it might it might just look a bit bizarre. For example, a lot of people don't like the VLC icon, they think it's a bit stupid being a cone, because VLC is actually a media player, but but the icon's a cone, a lot of people dislike it. I've been using VLC player for years and I'm just sort of used to the icon, I don't actually mind it. But say you want to change the icon, what is the best way to change it, the quickest, easiest way? In my view, it's using Fast Icon, which is a free application. So what I'll do, I'll quickly run you through how to use it, and I'll give you a few more tips on the way. So once you've decided on what icon you wish to change, you need to find a replacement icon for the application. So you want to just go to Google Images and whatever application it is, for example, I'm going to change the VLC player icon. So I'll type in VLC and I'll type in icon, do a search in Google Images and it gives me a list of different icons and images and so on. So I find one I, p I prefer, I like better. So for example, just for the purpose of this video, I will choose this icon. It's a bit different. It's got a little movie reel on it and stuff. So I'll grab that image, drop it into my desktop, like so. So I want to open the image up in preview. And as you can see, this is a JPEG image and it's got a white background. But ideally for an icon, you want a transparent background, a P PNG file. So what we want to do is first get rid of the actual background. So you can do this in preview. So what you want to do is go up to the your top bar and select instant alpha. Then you want to click on the background and then drag towards your actual image or to the center of the image. You know, it, it, it doesn't have to be perfect because you know the icons are not huge, so the quality doesn't have to be brilliant. So that'll do. Then just press delete. It's deleted it. If I wish, I can get rid of the shadow by doing the same again, clicking on the shadow and work my way towards the um, icon, like so. So, it'll take a bit of uh, playing with, but you'll get there. As you can see, I'm, still, I'm just going towards the um, center of the icon. If you wish, you could use obviously a different application to do this if you prefer to use Photoshop or GIMP but um, I'm happy with that you know it's not perfect but for purposes video I'll I'll keep it so then I want to go to file save as choose what I want to save it to make sure you save it to a PNG that's what you want really that's what gives you the transparent background a JPEG won't allow that so then just save it call it whatever you wish so I'm going to call it VLC icon Save, close preview, delete the original, I don't really need it now. So once you've created your icon image and you're happy with the way it looks, now you need to do is convert it to actual icon format which the Mac will understand. So this is where fast icon comes into play. So open the ap application up and you get a little floating box on your desktop. All you do is drag your image into the box and if you're happy with the way it looks, just double click on it, then just save, simple as that. Now you've created your icon image. Now to set it as your actual icon for your application, remember I wish to change this application here. Go to your application folder, find the application, uh, right click and go to get info all you do is to change the icon is drag your new icon and drop it and as you can see it's changed it instantly and after changing the dock I get rid of the old icon and just drop the application back into your dock like so as easy as that Quick note here though, if you notice the icon looks a bit small compared to the other icons in the dock. So what I should have done with the original image when I was uh, deleting the background, I should have probably um, 
selected the rectangle selection tool and just made it a bit smaller, cropped it, got rid of the background. Like so, then just gone to tools and to crop and crop the image and saved it like that just how we did last time. Save as. And it would have obviously made the icon a little bit bigger, but you get the idea. If you do decide you no longer want the custom icon, you want to just go back to the original, all you would do is go right click, get info, click on the icon and just press delete and it will go back to the original default icon. So you know you can always go back if you decide you wish to. So an alternative to um, searching for images on Google is you can use this website called deviantart.com and you go to just go to the page and you go down to customization then you can go to icons and from there you can choose OS icons or dock icons etc or you could just use the uh, search bar and just type in VLC icon or whatever icon you're looking for and a lot of people submit their icons what they've made as you can see here I found this VLC replacement icon which looks pretty decent and all we do is click on download and just download it as simple as that so you can get the fast icons application from the Mac update site I will leave the link in the description so you can find it easier it's actually called fast icons but it's missing the O it's uh, a free application really easy to use pretty straightforward it's a really, really tiny application but it's probably one of the best icon creators on the Mac because one it's free and two it just does the job really well so yeah, thanks for watching the video, hopefully you found it useful, if you did, please subscribe and I'll see you later.